It's the head-to-head -head competition that everyone has been waiting for. Power BI Copilot report generation versus agent mode in Excel using exactly the same data set, a simple table with a few columns of data from coffee shop sales. Okay, completely fake data. Let's see which one provides the most insightful report. I promise you, I have not tested this. You will be seeing the results the first time I'm ever seeing these. So this is the prompt. Create an insightful report or dashboard for a management team making a decision about which coffee shop to invest in. Okay, here we go. I'm going to copy that prompt. Right. So in Excel, you need the Copilot 365 uh, license, Microsoft 365. It's the 30 US dollar a month one, the paid one. And you need to have Excel Labs and Excel for web. So here we go. And then inside that Excel Labs, there's agent mode. So I'm going to paste that prompt in. I'm not going to click send yet. Okay, in Power BI online, I saw a blog post today that prompted this video saying they've improved the reporting in Copilot for Power BI. You need a Microsoft Fabric license. Your report needs to live in a Fabric enabled workspace. And then here's the Copilot button. Okay, welcome to Copilot. Simplify your work. Mistakes are possible. Yeah, thank you. Get started. I'm going to put my prompt in down there. Okay, so let's see what happens. I'm going to send that one. I'm going to send that one. Side to side, head to head. Um, I'd just be interested to see what happens. Okay, it's put a little uh, heading in on the one in Power BI. It's now building the report out. Okay, check it out. Your new report page is ready. Here we've got a bit of a breakdown, total sales, total profit, little slicer showing store manager. Hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, costs by store name. Now I haven't done any measures. I haven't done any data modeling. I've not prepped this at all. Uh, we've got breakdown by sales. Um, over and over again, same person. Okay, how's the Excel one coming on? Uh, refining the dashboard layout, reasoning, so clearly slower. Um, that's still ticking along. I could, let's say, um, add a chart, add a column chart showing top months for the top selling um, coffee shop. Okay, I've also added some spikes and some manage manager comments. So I'm wondering if I can get access to that. Okay, cool. Um, Pretty good. Can I do rearrange visuals to fit? Will it do that? Oh, rearrange is not supported. Okay, but interesting. Sales by date. Okay, roast and toast uptown. Um, Okay, let's see how the Excel one's getting on. Okay, reasoning. Okay, based on the data available, daily average sales significant, very sharp. Okay, let's go explore this answer. Ah, okay, so you can get in here and you can do a little pivot table type thing within Power BI. Pretty cool. Swap out some of these measures and things, or some of these columns and fields. Okay, pretty cool. Excel still going. Um, I'm going to have a quick delve into this. I'll pause the video for now and just see what else is going on and then we'll come back and have a look what the Excel one does. All right, see you shortly. 
All right, we're back. Um, I've had a quick dig into this. Weirdly, this table down the bottom, um, it said do not summarize sales and costs and profit. So it's treating all them as individual transactions, which you, you don't really want. You want them grouped together. So that's a bit odd. Um, you know, you'd expect the profit to be probably the thing to flag. Um, I had to build that sales one. There, you know, there's a grand total for sales and it takes up a you know, a massive amount of space and as does the heading and does this. So I'm not a big fan of that. One thing I didn't notice straight away is when I asked for uh, the column chart showing top months for the top selling coffee shop, the, the, the title was just sum of sales by date. Okay. And so my date field was my monthly field. Mm, okay. I didn't have a calendar table or anything, but is it top months? So it doesn't, and then I thought, oh, how's it, what, has it done anything here? So with that visual selected, if I pop out the filter panel, it has done a top one store name by some of sales in the filter panel without really flagging that on the visual. So, you know, which, which, which of my other visuals have got sneaky filter panel items on them? You know, have any? Do I have to click on all of them? Um, yeah, I don't like that as a feature. Let me just try this one second. Um, so can, let's go, let's do this. Convert the sum of sales by date and store name into a small multiples chart by store name. Okay, I was just using the Whisper Flow app to record that, to put it in. Let's see if it can do it. Does it, is it aware of the actual visual on the page? Okay, it says the chart has been converted into small multiples with each store, store shown in its own panel. Um, no, it hasn't. Okay, so that's just a blatant lie. Um, the visual did not change, even though Copilot says it did. Okay, so there's the Power BI one. It's not really that insightful, though, is it? Let's be honest. Okay, let's... Well, let's have a go. Let's have a look at the Excel version. Okay, how was that done? Okay, I'm going to explore. Da -da -da, I'm going to explore the workbook structure. Create a new sheet called Dashboard with a clean executive layout. Excellent. Key KPIs or profit margin. Lovely profit growth. Okay. Summary table per store. Charts are added. Profit by store. Monthly profit trend. Oh, okay, nice. Um, built what I did, built a management ready dashboard. Okay, that sounds cool. Highlighted the top store, highest 25 profit. Um, oh, the assumptions made, like it. Decision focuses on F25 performance and consistency on your new growth versus 2024. Volatility is measured as a standard deviation. Okay, when a worst month manager comment is blank, we display blank. Okay, uh, you want recommendations? Okay, let's have a look. Here's the dashboard. Mm, my definition of management ready dashboard is a little bit different. This chart as well is just, okay, they just chuck all the charts. Okay, monthly profit trend. Uh, sales and profit by store. Okay. Uh, all right. Apart from putting the charts in the wrong place, you know, it's not great, but it doesn't look awful. Um, recommended store. Okay. Roast and toast uptown based on uh, getting a matching the max of the 2025 profit. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, so it's doing a match in the max from there against that list and bringing back the corresponding store. Okay. Pretty cool. And then tells you 
the key KPI was the profit, 457,000. Growth rate. Okay, so it's just doing some calcs. Uh, we've also got um, some standard deviation for volatility. I would have to look up about to explain what standard deviation is. I can't remember from my school days. Uh, I don't do that sort of stuff very lot, a lot, but there we go. Um, and across all the months, um, and worst month, okay, it's called out from the monthly data, uh, the min, okay, all right, that's okay. Uh, hard coded in the year in there, worst month in 2025, I guess the heading says that. Yeah. Not great, but okay. Um, the comments been pulled out for that month. Let's put a little let function in there. I'm not going to delve into the entire formula, but it's okay. It's written some, you know, interesting stuff. It's got the monthly trends. Uh, it's uh, it's picked up the heading as store, so it's put that in there. That's okay. At least it's done a you know, sales versus profit by the different stores and things. Okay. Okay, using a sum ifs. What's this store? Oh, those are the months, are they? So it's hard coded 2025 into the formula. Mm, don't like that. And But it is dynamically looking up months, but I didn't have month in my source table. Ah, look at that. It's added year and month into my actual data. Interesting. Okay, so there we go. That's the uh, the bit of analysis. Uh, no, you know, obviously Power BI was instant, but I actually think Excel gives better analysis. There you go. First ever try of this. Never seen any of this before. Never tested this out. I'm not going to go and check and va validate all this stuff. Um, I'm not saying it's right. I would definitely check in real life, but that's for a, you know me to do personally rather than watch and wait here. Okay, first look. Um, I'd say this is a little victory for Excel. What do you reckon? Leave a comment. Well, watch your notes. You know, it's 30 bucks a month. It's a fixed cost. It's in preview of beta. Copilot and Power BI has been out a bit longer. You've got to pay for fabric um, in order to do that, which, you know, is starts for a business. Um, you can have multiple people using this potentially, but starts at around about 230 US dollars a month, not per person, but for a team. But that is then chewing in to that capacity. And the more of these queries you do, you can easily churn into all that. So, and I'm not sure what the limit is currently with Excel agent mode either. Um, I don't know how long the agent mode actually took because I had to go away for about an hour. So it was definitely less than an hour. All right. Hope you find that useful. Um, I'll be doing more of these little tests and comparisons and keeping people informed about what's going on. Okay. Catch you in the next video. And also, check out in the description a link to my Power BI Essentials training course available now. Mm -hmm.